Hi, and welcome to this short demonstration of the XFlow mobile approval experience. Initially, the approver will receive an email which looks something like this. This can of course be customized to suit your requirements. This is color coded, highlighted red to show what's already overdue, red text to show what's due very soon, and so on. All the approver needs to do is just click on the hyperlink and will be automatically logged into the XFlow approval portal. Upon first visiting here, you can see a list of all the invoices which are currently with you for approval. Clicking on the inbox icon, you are able to filter for all invoices with you for processing, ones that are already due for payment, future invoices, meaning that they are with you in the approval chain, but another person or persons have to approve them first, recent meaning invoices that you have already processed, and invoices that are on hold. Pressing the search icon, I can easily filter on any information and then I can save that search to be used in the future. At the moment it's filtered on the company ALM and myself as the approver. Pressing the add button, I can add any number of fields to be searched by. Let's say vendor name of general associates. If I navigate back to the inbox, I can see that all my searches have been automatically saved by the date and number. Simply by clicking on the star, I can add a meaningful name to use going forward. Clicking on the circle icon at the top, I can see a graphical representation of the invoices that are with me. From here, I can click on Quick Tips. This is the user guide for new approvers. Most sections have an animated demonstration to show you how to navigate the portal, such as how to open an invoice, process approvals, expand for more information, search, keyboard shortcuts, and so on. From here, we can also set up replacers or delegates. If I am on leave or sick, for example, I can specify a different person per company for a specific date range to process my approvals whilst I'm away. We also, of course, support escalation, meaning that if I haven't processed my approvals within a certain amount of time, it will be automatically sent to someone else, meaning that nothing will fall between the cracks. Finally, on this page, we can see any comments that someone has directed towards me and any notifications from the XFlow administrator. On the far right, we can see who I'm logged in as, in this case, AXEDU01, and I can log out if I need to. XFlow uses a single sign-in function, meaning that you should not have to require a separate password or login process. Once you've logged into Windows by Active Directory, XFlow will know who you are and grant you the appropriate rights. We can now just click on any of the invoices to see more information on that one. I'm just going to click this one here. At the top, we can see the header information, such as the vendor's name, ID, payment due date, and so on. If the invoice was matched with a purchase order, you would be able to click on the PO number to see more information regarding that purchase order, such as the received quantities, etc. In the middle, we can see the invoice lines. This particular invoice has three. I can see that the third line is with me because it's colored blue. I can see that this has been pre-coded to the ledger account of 600150. This may be from standard Dynamics configuration or from XFlow's pre-coding functionality. Clicking on the people icon, I can see that this line is currently with me and after I process it, it will go to AXEDU02. Clicking on the checkbox before my name, I can approve a single line, reject it, or put it on hold. If I reject or put it on hold, I need to enter some comments. Of course, I can always add comments at any stage. A comment can be entered per line or at the invoice header level. If added at the invoice header level, it can be viewed in Dynamics also. Scrolling down, we can see an image of the invoice and you have the ability to page down, page up, add comments and attachments such as supporting documentation for that invoice. Hovering over the green tick at the bottom, gives you the ability to process all the invoice lines with you at once. You can now approve, reject, put on hold, forward, meaning that this should have gone to someone else and not you. Validate will check if the coding meets all the standard Dynamics validation rules. Save if you want to keep your changes and come back at a later stage. Or cancel if you've made some changes but want to reset the original information. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like more information, please contact your partner or sign up software directly.